Hey, did a nice job. <laughs>
uh, belongs to a, a couple of residents, retired folks, my parents, uh, uh, who, well, uh, while well, they love living in Gardner and enjoy the amenities that we have here, uh, they are also uh, beyond their peak year earning years and are subsiding, uh, subsisting on, on uh, money that they've saved for retirement and through pensions and uh, live basically on a, a fixed income. So they get one of these statements every month. And in talking with my mother, who pays the bills online, because that's the kind of, uh, of uh, a technically savvy person that we've, we've still got at uh, retirement age in the city of Gardner. Uh, but I, I asked her about this bill, and I said, so you open this bill up. What's the first thing that you look at? Well, the first thing that she looks at is new charges due by and the total amount. Now, that's not all she looks at because I got my inquisitive nature from my folks and so she looks at her water and sewer and electric charges and uh, the uh, PCA that they're getting charged for and the sales tax, but the number that really matters to her, the one number that she goes online and pays every month is the, is the new charges, the remittance. And I'll get back to that. So, uh, as we wound up our last discussion about this particular item, it, it seemed to me that there were several different options. Uh, it wasn't one, it wasn't two. Uh, uh, the way I see it, and judging from the, the people that I've talked to and the conversation that we had at the last meeting, uh, we had about seven, and we'll get to all of them in a minute. But the first one, uh, which uh, is, is keep, the things the, keep things the same. The electric utility board and the water and wastewater would continue to operate as usual. We could modify the electric utility board ordinance to operate as an independent board. We could modify the electric utility board ordinance to operate as an advisory board. We could dissolve the electric utility board and bring the electric utility back under the direction of city council. And I mean, I think all of these things are, are, are things that, that the people that have been part of these conversations would probably be happy to see happen. Uh, I'm sure there's members of the electric utility board that would like to see things kept just the way that they are. Uh, I know that there were a number of people that have, uh, and I believe not just the consensus of council, but the, uh, but everyone on council understands that maybe we need to modify the the ordinance, uh, maybe to operate as an independent board, uh, maybe to operate as an advisory board, and we had several members that uh, were willing to, uh, a consensus of members actually, uh, uh, Tori Roberts, Christy Harrison, and, and Larry Fotovich that were okay with modifying the Electric Utility Board Ordinance to operate as an advisory board. We could dissolve the uh, EUB, which actually is something that I think Larry's been fond of the idea uh, through, through time, and we could bring the Electric Utility back under the direction of City Council. We could also establish a, a BPU for electric water and wastewater to be run as an elected board, similar to the KCK BPU. Now, this is something that Councilmember Shoot brought up at the last meeting. Uh, we could establish a, a BPU for electric water and wastewater to be run as an independent appointed board, similar to what that we have in what, what our friends in McPherson, Kansas, have with their BPU. Similar but not the same, as they don't include wastewater as part of uh, their board. Uh, and last, we could establish.